Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another edition of Reptile Ventures. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick little video on how I incubate the eggs. Uh, it's kind of a continuation of our last two videos which were about breeding ball pythons. So I thought it would be good to just carry on and uh, show you what I do with, uh, with the eggs when I, when I get them. So we have a female uh, here right now that's laid her eggs. She actually laid them last night. So um, time to take them away. Grab this pot and bring it out here. Okay, so like I was saying earlier, I always give the females uh, a nest box, which they really like. Oh, what the heck? There's your eggs just lying there. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, all right. Well, actually, before I take the eggs away from her, I'll show you what I do. Um, what I actually use to put the eggs in. So this is just a Rubbermaid container and I've already uh, mixed this up but this is just coarse vermiculite and I just really soak it down with with a lot of water. I don't worry about how much water I put in there I just make it really really wet and I don't put the eggs directly into the vermiculite. Um, what I do is I get this stuff here which is that plastic um, diffuser panel for fluorescent lights and I just cut a piece that would fit inside the box and the eggs sit on top of this so um, like years and years ago I, I did like actually uh, mix up the vermiculite and try to get the moisture content right and put the eggs right in there but it was just a real pain in the ass and if you got it too wet the eggs would get too wet and I actually I actually lost quite a few eggs over the years because I didn't have the moisture content right so I just one day I just decided that's not the way to do it and I just put that in there and the eggs sit on top and you can have it as wet as you want doesn't matter because the eggs don't come into contact with it so it works out really good okay so this female let's come on here let's get you off these eggs okay wow what a what a nice clutch she's laid here. Okay. How many? Um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm not sure why that egg was lying over there, but it's deformed. Um, <laughs> maybe it's lying for a couple of months. Okay. Well, anyways, yeah. Once you got the clutch out, you just lay it in there. I'll put that right there. And that's it. Put the lid on, and what I do is I I, I have a, a small heated uh, walk-in incubator uh, that's it's just 90 degrees in there, and uh, I just put that in there, and that's it. Now, if you don't have a small heated room, I used to incubate eggs for years uh, before I had one of these, um, just in a big glass aquarium that I insulated with some styrofoam. Put about four inches of water in the bottom. Use a an aquarium heater to heat up the water, and made like a little rack. And I would just put box similar to this, like just right on the wire rack, and it worked great. I mean, you have to calibrate, make sure it's 90 degrees in there, but but that's a really simple way of doing it. You can use a a cooler, like a plastic uh, picnic cooler, or anything like that will work for uh, for as long as it's as long as you got 90 degrees and high humidity, it's going to work. That's that's it, so it's not a difficult process. Okay? So we got some questions from last time. Terry's okay. going to read them out here. SNM1117 says, I have had, I have 50 snakes. I, I only have 20 now. I have 15 RC airplanes. Snakes and airplanes <laughs> are a couple of my passions. I see Henry has airplanes. Does he have a channel for that? Uh, <laughs> not really. Uh, I do fly great control model airplanes I have for ever since I was a little kid. So Henry, did you go to the World Championships in Amsterdam yeah, in many, 1985? Many, many, many years ago. Yes, That's right. Did. It was a blast. <laughs> okay. H and H B P Morse. Oh, I was wondering if you have any red stripe or hidden gene Wilma stuff. Uh, no red stripe, but I did just get a uh, um, a soul sucker, and he's big enough to hopefully breed this season. So. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to 
hopefully making some cool things with him for sure. Okay, Tony Barker in the UK asks, really enjoy watching your videos from over here in the UK. When do you start and finish your breeding season? Uh, well, we kind of covered that with the, in the first two well, videos. Well, he wasn't really breeding, watching. But, um, um, I don't know. I don't really have a, a set breeding season because I don't really cycle the animals typically. Like, um, like I was saying before, they're set at 90 degrees daytime, 88 at night, and they're like that year round. So, I mean, my breeding season literally, I mean, I will get a clustering of, of sort of egg laying in the spring and summer, but, you know, right now I'm, I'm waiting on females right now to lay eggs. I've got females ovulating. I've got breeding going on. Um, it, it's pretty much year round, which is great because I've got new females coming up all the time, and as soon as they have good sized follicles, I'll throw the male in. and doesn't matter whether it's middle of summer or middle of winter or, yeah. Okay, Jeff X 112 where is your bubbly daughter? She was a hoot at times. <laughs> yeah, well, the bubbly daughter is now married. <laughs> yeah, living in Ontario. To, uh, Ontario, which is about 3,000 miles away, so she's yes. not in the videos any longer. Yeah, Kelly. Which I know some of you are happy about. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kelly whisked her away. H&H &H BP Morphs 4. Good video. My question is, what is your take on recessive genes? Do you think recessive means recessive and the hats can be, not be identified visually? I'm on the fence with this one. Oh, I see swears he can pick the black... Oh, Dan Wolf swears he can pick the black lace hats every time. Well, used to not... He's not in the ball... Oh, well, used to. He's not in the well, ball game anymore. I, what I, do you yeah, think? I got it. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of splitting hairs in the way... Uh, I mean, obviously, some recessive uh, genes you, you just can't tell like say like albinos I mean no one can pick out head albinos from non head albinos um, but you know is a is an ivory a visual hat for or, or a yellow belly a visual hat for an ivory I guess uh, you know it's okay however you want to look at it right R1 Kenobi writes, Henry, can you talk about off-season breeding? Everyone mentions starting the season approximately around October. It's always interesting and confused when I see egg cutting years videos all year long. Love your vids. Yeah, again, I mean, this is all stuff we've covered just in the last couple of videos. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I know you can breed ball pythons year-round. There is no real breeding season for ball pythons. It's really uh, well, for me anyways, it's really just a question of when the female is ready, and she can be ready in spring, and summer, fall, winter, I mean, um, just doesn't matter. The males will breed year-round, they don't care. I mean, once they get going, they'll breed any time. Um, so, uh, that's it. So, yeah, uh, again, if you have more questions, leave them in the comment, and we'll answer them. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and um, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks very much.